Well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog has to do with the upcoming ammo legislation that's going to affect basically all of us come January 1st. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions associated with this law. It is not to be construed as I am in favor of it. Quite the contrary. I think it is completely irrelevant and, to be absolutely honest with you, potentially discriminatory. That all notwithstanding, um, there's some blogs that have been out there that have been putting out some misinformation associated with what takes place with ammo uh, sales come January 1. And I wanted to make sure that we dispelled some of those rumors. It is going to become slightly more onerous to buy ammunition. Now, many people, in fact, to be candid with you, the majority of people do not buy their ammunition online. There's a huge chunk of the population that does, but the vast majority of ammunition purchases tend to take place already face-to-face, -face, meaning that somebody physically goes to their local gun store or sporting goods store or Walmart and purchases ammunition. That will not change. Those of you who are already doing that, you can still go to Turner's or Big Five or Walmart and buy your ammo. What is going to be affected are the individuals that do buy their ammunition online. You can still do it. It's just that you will not be able to have it shipped directly to your home or office. Starting next week, you are going to have to have it shipped to a licensed ammunition vendor. Now, in practical terms, that means somebody in California that has a CFD number. A CFD number means they're on the centralized firearms dealers list, and effectively it means that they're a gun store. Um, when that ammunition arrives, at the dealer's location, they are going to then ostensibly turn around and hand it to you, the ultimate purchaser, and are statutorily prohibited by, for, to charge no more than $10 for the privilege of going through this little kabuki theater. Um, I assume that they're going to take some sort of photocopy of your driver's license. Not that there's anything statutorily that mandates that activity. In fact, um, we, as members on the centralized firearms dealer list, have received absolutely no instructions as to what we're supposed to do next week. Um, like I said, I guess best practices would be that we would take a photocopy of your ID so that we could show that the transaction took place. But until July 1st of 2019, there's not going to be any mandatory reporting. Now, then there will be. There'll supposedly be some sort of website put in place where we'll go through this. Now, here's the practical effect. There are no legislative prohibitions against charging intake fees or charging storage fees. And like I mentioned in the blog, if somebody has invested thousands of dollars in ammunition, which they intend to sell on their store shelves, and they're selling their box of Winchester, you know, target ammunition for $20 a box, and you were able to find the same ammunition for, say, $10 a box on, you know, Ammo Blaster 3000 website, if you ship that to them, they're realistically speaking not going to undercut their own inventory. What they're going to wind up doing is ensuring that the ammunition either is the same price as what they actually have on the shelf or actually exceeds it to make it distasteful for you to buy the ammunition online. Rather, you'll just simply buy it at the store. Um, now, if you have some sort of specialized wildcat round or something like that that you buy from some dude in Arkansas, you'll be able to continue to do that. It's just that it's going to have to go through this ammunition vendor and ha actually have to be a face-to-face -face transaction at the point of sale. This, I guess is supposed to make us all safer. Um, I am still completely befuddled as to how that is supposed to happen. It is definitely going to make ammunition more expensive because you've essentially eliminated the competition of the internet. Um, it's definitely going to make the acquisition of ammo a little bit more, you know, of a nuisance 
because you can't simply order it online like you could your Twinkies from Amazon.com. Yet, it is what it is. That's where we're at. Um, in any event, read the blog. Hopefully, it'll answer some of your questions. As always, if you have any specific questions that you'd like to ask me, you can contact me at Stephen at ArtemisHQ.com. I want you to train constantly, train consistently, and train with purpose. And until next week when we have coffee again together, stay safe. Thank you for watching.